Hi first graders, today we're going to do a beautiful piece of artwork that looks like the Northern Lights. What's the Northern Lights? The Northern Lights are a natural light display that light up the sky with beautiful colors. And these usually occur close to the North Pole where it's very, very cold. So here are the supplies that you need. You should have received these in your dolphin toolkit. Let's show them, Connor. We, you need a dark blue piece of paper, you need a white piece of paper, and chalk. And your colored chalk. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your white piece of paper and you're going to tear, tear a like little wavy. piece off on the top in a wavy okay. line. It doesn't have to be perfect or it doesn't have to be wavy. You just go ahead and tear some apart all the way across, right? Perfect. Okay, once you do that, you take your big piece of paper and actually kind of put it oh, on the other yeah. side so we don't get chalk on it. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to use your colored chalk. So Connor has pink and yellow. It doesn't matter what colors you have. If you have different colors, that's okay. And your chalk may not look like ours and that's okay. And you're going to color along the top torn edge of the paper. So if you have different colors, you'll do, so Connor will do first pink and then he'll do some yellow and then he'll do pink again and then he'll do yellow. And make sure you're pressing really hard and getting a lot of chalk on the top. Connor, show them what it will look like when you're done. It will look like this. It will look like that. Then you're going to place your white piece of paper a little bit, like a couple inches down from your blue piece of paper, and you're going to rub the chalk onto your blue piece of paper, keeping the white piece of paper in place. And all the way down the line. Go ahead and do that, Connor. It's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then when you lift your white piece of paper up, it looks really pretty. Some what like the northern lights do. And then and we're going to keep going down and repeating that. Same process. But then you probably would need to do this again because all the chalk will probably be off. On right, that. so let's let's color on top of our white piece of paper again. Again. Just a little bit further down. Because we don't want them to blend into each other. And you don't have to go all the way across each time either. But you can. And do the same thing. And then, when you're done, it will look like this. Yeah, that looks perfect. So now, since the northern lights are usually somewhere really cold, close to the North Pole, and those areas, they usually mountains. have... Mm-hmm, right. There's usually mountains close by. So you'll take your white piece of chalk, and you'll draw maybe some trees or some mountains at the bottom. And you can do that however you want. Connor's going to draw mountains by making some triangles all the way across the bottom of his paper. And you can even put some stars in the sky by putting dots in the sky. And I'm probably going to do that right now. Looks great. Do you want and to put you can some... also put some right over here. Mountains that you can see that are sticking out mm -hmm. that are farther away mm -hmm. that you can see. And maybe draw a little bit of snow on the top of your mountains, because usually there's a little bit of snow on the top of your mountains. Just color the top of the mountains with a little bit of white. Looks good. Okay, now... Well, you should do it all the way down the middle. Yeah. It's a whole mountains, probably. Now let's turn the paper on and show everybody what it looks like. Now, 
then it would look like this. Those are your northern lights. Hold it up straight. Can you hold it with two hands? All right, I hope everyone has fun doing this project. Say bye. Bye.